Welcome to the Superstar Multi-Network Tutorial. In this tutorial we will uh, cover how to set up your Laterama controllers uh, for multi-networks. Here we have a diagram of how I have my controllers set up. Um, here's a USB 485 adapter that I'm using for my first network. Uh, one end of him is plugged into a USB port on my computer and the other end has a Cat5 cable uh, that is connected to my first 16 channel controller and he has unit ID 01. Um, he is daisy chained to my second 16 channel controller and he has unit ID 02. He is daisy chained to CCR number 1 which has unit ID 03. Note that I could not use unit ID 01 here because each controller has to have a unique unit ID and this uh, controller down here already took 01 so I assigned him 03. He is daisy chained to CCR number 2 and it has unit ID 04 that is daisy chained to CCR number 3 which has unit ID 05 that is daisy chained to CCR number 4 which has unit ID 06 and that is daisy chained to CCR number 5 which has unit ID 07 which is daisy chained to CCR number 6 which has unit ID 08 and that's all the controllers that are on my first network and then here's a, a USB my second USB 45 adapter that I'm using for my second network and Laterama calls that the auxiliary A network uh, one end of it is plugged into a different USB port on my computer. The other end has a CAT5 cable coming out, and it goes to CCR controller number 7, which has unit ID 09. He is daisy chained to CCR number 8, which has unit ID 0A. Note that the next unit ID after 09 is not 10. It is 0A, and the Superstar software requires that your CCR controllers have consecutive unit IDs. So after 09, you must have 0A. Uh, and this CCR controller is daisy chained to CCR number 9, which has unit ID 0B. Uh, that is daisy chained to CCR number 10, which has unit ID 0C. And that in turn is daisy chain to CCR number 11 which has unit ID 0D and that is uh, daisy change to CCR number 12 which has unit ID 0E so these six controllers comprise my second network now you might ask why do I have eight controllers on one and six on another why didn't I put seven on each network well I could have but it just doesn't really matter uh, the 16 channel controllers only have 16 channels and each CCR controller has 150 channels and so the load that these two controllers uh, put on the network is just negligible. Uh, these two together don't even come close to equaling one CCR controller. So for me it's just uh, more logical and easier if I put both of the 16 channel controllers on the same network. And even if you have uh, like six 16 channel controllers, uh, you can go ahead and put them all together on the, the same, on the standard network with your first six CCR controllers. And so once you have all that hooked up and plugged into your computer, which I have done, you want to launch the uh, Lightorama hardware utility which is right there and you'll notice that he uh, he found two COM numbers here there's COM5 and COM8 and if uh, your computer doesn't find any COM numbers there uh, try clicking on the auto config button right here. But anyway we have COM5 selected there. We hit on refresh and it's going to search and find all the controllers hooked up to the USB 485 adapter which is associated with COM5. 
um, it found eight units and if we click on this right here you'll see that the first two controllers are CTB 16 PCs which that's uh, the 16 channel controllers and the next six are CR 150 D's and uh, the unit IDs are 0102, 03, 04, 05, 06, 07, and 08, which is what we expected. Um, next, we're going to go click on COM8, and it gives a little message box here that says COM port has been changed to COM8. Is this the port that will be used for shows? It's really asking, is this the port? you want uh, for your standard network and so we want to answer no so we hit refresh and after 10 or 15 seconds here it's going to show all the controllers that are hooked up uh, to the other network and uh, the, the com number for that network is com8 it found six units we click on this and we see all six units are all six controllers are uh, CCR controllers and their unit IDs are 090A, 0B, 0C, 0D, and 0E which is what we expected and note that in this uh, exercise here we did not do any configuration the only reason we came in to the hardware utility was to confirm that we have the controllers plugged into uh, the right things and, and to find out the COM number that is associated with each network and we found that COM5 is the standard network and COM8 is the will be used for the auxiliary A network now an interesting thing about these USB 485 adapters is I'm I just shut down the hardware utility and I am switching the USB port that the adapters are plugged into and you would think that that would switch the um, COM number that is associated with each uh, network but here we have COM5 selected there and if we hit on refresh um, contrary to what you might expect you'll find that COM5 is still uh, associated with the standard network because you see it still find found eight units on COM5 and it is the two 16 channel controllers and the first six CCR controllers and if we select COM8 it tells us to uh, it asks us uh, do you want this to be used for shows we answer again no and we click on refresh and of course it's going to find the uh, second six CCR controllers on COM8 and so this means there we go and it found six units and again yes yeah, the uh, last six CCR controllers that are 090A, 0B, 0C, 0D, and 0E. And so what this means is the computer has a way of uh, telling uh, the USB adapters apart and this COM number will follow the adapter. It doesn't matter which USB port you have it plugged into. The same COM number will uh, be associated with the US uh, with that particular USB 485 adapter. So we're going to close down the hardware utility and launch the sequence editor. And notice it is important to uh, to not have both the hardware utility and the sequence editor running at the same time. Uh, you want only want one up at a time. Uh, we're going to hit cancel here because we don't have to have a sequence open. We're just uh, going to set a setting in the sequence editor and we click on the edit menu. We go down to preferences, network preferences, and notice that up here 
on the regular network, it already knows that COM5 is associated with the regular network. But it, uh, for the auxiliary A network, we needed to tell it which COM number that is. Well, we know that that is COM8. So I have set COM8 for auxiliary A. Now, in addition to that, it is important to set the speed to short range faster. This is so there. Now we've set um, the COM ports. Oh, gosh, um, somehow that changed. Okay, that's COM8, and that's short range faster. That's because I'm using my laptop here and I'm this mouse is uh, sort of flaky sometimes so uh, we have that set up properly it's important to set short range uh, faster because uh, the CCR controllers uh, will lag if you don't do that they'll they'll lag and, and, and not keep up with the sequence in some places so we click on OK and it says your network settings have been changed but you'll have to close the sequence editor for them to take effect so we click on OK we close the sequence editor and next time we launch the sequence editor it, it'll it'll keep those settings and uh, so you are now all set up properly for multiple networks um, the net, next tutorial that I would recommend taking is the uh, Superstar export tutorial which will tell you how to export sequences and how to get them into your main sequence thank you and have a super day